Oh, no! No, Lindelof, I can't believe it! I can't believe this! Duncan Ferguson, he's looking in Passion Merchant again. And I, I feel for Lindelof here. I feel for Lindelof here. Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. Hope you're all doing very, very well. It's Manchester United versus Everton. And it's a big, big game for Manchester United today. Um, we've got to win. We've got to win. We've got this massive opportunity where Santa has answered Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's Christmas cards. And he has given him the opportunity to be in the top four on Christmas Day. If we beat Everton and Watford, I really do think that we'll do that. Your team news is in and there are no... Luke Haynes. I, I agree with that. And I do think that um, certainly Martial has improved massively. But I don't see Everton as a threat today. And that's going to be... <laughs> You know, sometimes you say words and you think that's going to haunt me later on today. I don't. See, you can see that banging under a tweet. Goal Everton four, United nil. Goldbridge. I don't see Everton as a, a as a threat today. But I don't because they've been ridiculously inconsistent themselves. Look at their results. Yes, they've sacked their manager. But on another day. Chelsea should have beat them last week. Lampard knows they should have beat um, them. They had Bruno Fernandes news says Maldita. I'm not aware of any Bruno Fernandes news. If you are, let me know. I've just I've had my head down. Not like that. I've had my head down this morning doing a little bit of uh, DIY. Looking forward to the game. So they have a yeah. shot off here with Fred. It goes into the box. Oh, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Fuck. <laughs> Swore there. He's literally had the ball on the edge of the six-yard box. What a dream. It's his birthday. It's his bloody birthday. He gets a birthday gift. All the problems he's had. Fred driving into the box. Gets a little bit lucky. It breaks to Jesse Lingard. who is on the, He's on the turn. It's not. He's got to score. He has. He's got to score. A footballer's got to score from there. And Rashford. And we've won a corner. 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 Can we score a corner? I don't know who will be on the corners today. No Pereira. No matter. Fred. Yeah. Fred's on corners. Harry Maguire, boom! I never thought we'd be waiting until Christmas for Harry Maguire to score a bloody header for Manchester United. Well, we might wait until New Year, but... Uh, and it's going to be Leighton Baines coming on, uh, which is another... You see? I didn't wish an injury on Digne, did I? But he is injured, and it helps us out that he's going off, because Leighton Baines, he ain't got the pace. So uh, this, is, uh, this is bad news for Everton. Uh, Baines is going to get his arse handed on a plate here. Lingard's been a ghost, says Paul Robinson. I mean, I, I, I... Oh, no! No, Lindelof! I can't believe it! I can't believe this! Duncan Ferguson, he's looking in Passion Merchant again. And I, I feel for Lindelof here. I feel for Lindelof here. He stood there as nervous as John Terry in a spelling test and it's gone in off him because there's nothing he can do. He's totally exposed. The cross comes in. De Gea jumps for it. I think VAR should review this. VAR should review this. Well, maybe it won't. Um, De Gea jumps for it and it just, he misses it. And it lands right on. It nearly goes in off his cock. It hits his knee and there's nothing Lindelof can do. There's nothing he can do. It just hits him and goes in. You cannot blame Lindelof there. I did feel like I jinxed him a bit because I said in the last three games he's done really well. Uh, there might be a VAR here on De Gea. There is a bit of a foul on De Gea potentially. Zayn Miassi saying goal. I get a feeling VAR is going to count this out. Zayn Miassi, every time he starts joking about it. No, oh, they've bloody given it. They've bloody given it. They've given it. 1-0 to Everton. VAR. Virtual anal rimming, as I call it. That's a bloody joke. He clearly gets clattered. Why is he giving that then? If he doesn't get clattered, he probably punches it away properly. Calamitous goal. They've given it. They've bloody given it. Some people VAR are saying that. review. I just, I fail to see how they haven't given a foul there. I, you know, virtual anal rimming again. VAR. Rubbish. Absolute joke. Maybe some, maybe some people enjoy a virtual anal rimming. I don't. It's disgusting. It's filth. It's vile. And, and that's what VAR is. Uh, everyone talking about Lingard. <sighs> I'm not scared to say he's been poor, but he's not the only one. Um, and there's another half yet. 
It's his birthday as well. Come on, let's let's get. Well, no, you know, the, the thing is though, should you give him? Should he be let off? It's it's high end competitive football, isn't it? You know, there's a few players on that pitch who've got to do a little bit more. Um, you can get yourself up for Pep, but can you get yourself up for Everton at home? The game you should win. The the three points that matter more than Man City and Spurs. Man City and Spurs, yeah, because these are the games we've not been winning in. And yet we've had another stale 45 minutes. Why can't they get themselves up for these games? There's a lack of quality in possession, but there's a total lack of knowledge of a plan B. We only play well when we catch a team on the break. And the two chances that James and Rashford had came from a high line from Everton. We don't create chances when teams get eight men behind the ball. And everybody else in the top six can. But we can't create chances when there's two banks of four in front of us. And, and, and this has been a problem for the whole of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's reign. We've got to find a way to create chances when teams sit back. And we're terrible at it. And it doesn't mean this game's gone. It can't be gone. We've got to find a way to win this game. We cannot be sat here on 90 minutes saying we've drawn or lost. We can't because we go back to where we were before Spurs. And none of us want to do that. We want to get back to where we were. We want to get back. We want to get back to where we were before kickoff with optimism and hope. It, dis it totally disintegrates if we don't win today because we've learned nothing. Lund Lingard wouldn't get in Everton's lineup, says White Owl. Well, here, him really. Uh, you know, I, I'm not moving away from anything. I expect Manchester United to win this game of football. We've all, you know, you can't not. You can't. You can't beat Spurs and, and Man City and then not beat Everton. This is what today is all about. Um, it's, I don't think we're going to get the good performance, the momentum that we wanted, but we've got. if we're not going to get that, we've got to get the win. Another one. Absolutely joke. We are so bad at corners. We're awful. We, we are bloody awful at corners. We may as well just give goal kicks in future. At least the game gets on quicker. We're just wasting time. It's time wasting. Manchester United corners are, a t are just a time wasting tactic because we never bloody do anything with it. Anyone see Lingard, says B, but I think he's down at the moment. Salute Shaw with the shot. And Dan James, oh God. It's not even one of our own players. Dan James blasts it into the face of Lingard. That's why Lingard's down injured. Shot by Shaw, palmed away by Pickford. Dan James is ready to pick his spot. It was going well wide anyway. It was a crap shot by Dan James and it smacked Jesse Lingard in the face. And my channel, my TV channel has just changed to Peppa Pig. This is a disaster. I've got to go and change it. He's not had the best birthday. Oh no, Mason Greenwood's coming on. And the camera, that's disgusting. That's disgusting from the TV cameras showing the tactics for Manchester United. Bloody ridiculous. Mason Greenwood's coming on anyway. The bit of luck, I can see a goal coming. Luke Shaw, corner. Oh, give him a goal kick. Give him a bloody goal kick. Waste of time. Everton are there, like, getting their deck chairs out and sucking on a magnum. Like, it's a corner. Oh, shit, we're really scared. I'm, I'm doing this on purpose in the hope that we're going to score a corner. We won't score a corner. Waste of time. No. Oh, Lindelof. Well, I want, want far off from Lindelof, to be fair. But it He's a 15 million signing from the Championship. I just... I think expectations are, are a little bit too much. Oh, he's done it again! Mason Greenwood has done it again! That's Christmas pudding with custard and ice cream out of nothing. Absolutely nothing again. He saves the day with a bottom corner shot from the edge of the box. That's absolutely superb. Superb. And I tell you what, he should have started. He should have started the game because it's out of nothing again. He's, he's, he's just Robin Van Persie reincarnated. And Robin Van Persie is not dead, but as a footballer he is because he's retired. There's nothing there. There's nothing going on. There's no right to do what he does. And yet again, he finds the bottom corner with that wand of a left foot. Get the emoji bang in. It's 1-1. It's Mason Greenwood. And that's... Uh, get out of jail. Get out of jail. And now Ollie's got up. 1-1. Rescued by a teenager. Told you, Mark, says Ames Adamson. 1-1, Manchester United. Inspiring stuff from Mason Greenwood. And pass one, pass two. Hit it, matter. Switch. Oh, the pass was the other way to Greenwood. Greenwood's there with his hands on his hips. And that's why matter's done. You bloody prat. You've got no pace. All you are is a 
a, a wizard with a walking stick and you haven't even spotted the, the overlap pass there. Matter. Used to have eyes in the back of his head. Not anymore. Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. Manchester United 1, Everton 1. Ollie scored by a BTEC Braveheart. That's basically the headline. Thanks Zane Massey for... I nicked it off you, I know. But a BTEC Braveheart has just come and scored Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer at Manchester United. And I tell you what, I'm, I'm, I am, I'm really not disappointed. I'm, I'm fed up and tired of this because there is no excuse. Again, there is no excuse for this. Like we beat Manchester City. Comfortably beat Manchester City. We comfortably beat Spurs. And then we come into a game like this today where every United fan is talking about the, the warning. The warning sign being that, 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 that with this, these are the games that we really struggle in. We struggle in these games. We've got to be up for it. We've got a point to prove that we're not going to lose in these types of games again. And we're going to, we're going to hit it hard. We're not going to be complacent. And then what do we get? We get another 90 minutes of complacency.